Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over our world final games versus SK Gaming. This was an insane match. So we're gonna give you guys some background about the comps, you know, analyzing the game, breaking it down. This is gonna be an instructional video. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. But either way, let's hop into the first game. Hopping into this first game here, I wanna go over the bans just before we get into it. They are going to be banning Sprout and Leon and uh, we banned, I believe, Buzz and Mortis. Basically, that's just what we wanted to ban. It kind of eliminates some of the threats of like crazy comps with double tank but either way you can see here both teams are going to be running the exact same comp and with lola in play it kind of makes it easy because lola is just such a well-rounded brawler and such a strong brawler at least right now it's just basically really hard to beat lola in lane there's only a few brawlers that do very well uh so right now you can see it's going to be a very very slow place game i mean both byrons have super at this point we're just kind of relaxing in the mid we're exchanging blows nothing is really going to happen unless someone makes a huge mistake and you can see both lolas are playing extremely safe basically just not trying to charge a barley super because once barley gets super we'll be able to push out the uh, byron in the mid and then get kind of full control so both teams knew exactly what we wanted to do this game both teams were on the same page about this and uh you know we kind of played it basically identically like it's going to be a very slow game for a long time here this was the slowest game probably of the tournament and i was super surprised when i was playing this game i was like oh my god nothing is actually happening i was just like i guess we're just chilling and uh wait till someone makes a mistake and you can see again no one's really doing anything a couple Byron shots here and there. Now, Jen gets a couple Byron shots, does push up, but can't really do much. Now, this is where they have a chance. So they have the Barley Super. My Super actually hits both Sky and Jen, which was huge because it kind of cancels out their push as well as Tyrant finishes the kill. And now we're able to come back into the mid. So that was a little bit scary, but we were able to, you know, execute the defense very well and uh, kind of just clutch up that defense. So again, Kind of back to this midpoint where both teams aren't really doing much, but we do have the control back into the mid. So at this point, we're kind of just waiting for overtime unless, you know, we get some sort of advantage uh, like they just did. If we get a Barley Super or if somehow I get a kill in the mid versus the other Byron, then we are able to do something. But 15 seconds left, this is going to be, you know, basically waiting to overtime, like I said. And here you go. So 10 seconds left. Everyone's just relaxing, waiting for it to drop, every wall to drop. And this is where things start to get interesting because, well, the game is actually going to be played now. So Tyrant gets tagged here, but we're just going to keep healing him up. And uh, that's basically our job in overtime. Now, Zulon as a Lola does so much damage. And if we can keep Zulon alive, it's just going to be game over. Now, they're getting pretty low here. And our job is just to make sure that both of our teammates survive. We do get a nice super onto Sky, canceling their push, which was huge. And to be honest, this is kind of like the game changer. We do go extremely low, so we're just going to heal up. Zulon gets a nice kill onto Semantic. And now we have Lola clone, Tyrant super, and I mean, I'm just pushing up the mid. Tyrant is doing work here. Jetton is going to go down. I think barely goes down there, uh, which was a huge kill. Now, this is where it gets dicey. I actually go for this ball, and I can't believe I died. I was going to pass it to the Tyrant. We thought we won the game there, but luckily, Zuan grabs the ball, super passes the Tyrant, and we get the first win of the World Finals match. And... Uh, Let's get in the next game. Hopping into game two, we have a little more of an exciting game because they went Gene, uh, Max, Sandy. Now this comp, we thought about it. We've, you know, kind of tested around with it and we think our comp could handle theirs, even though sometimes it's hard. It's kind of like a skill matchup in our opinion. I think both comps can definitely win this matchup and it's just basically of how well we play when they get Gene pull, when they get speed, it will be a little bit tough. But if we ever do get control of the map, we can do so much pressure with a barley. So again, that's what we're trying to do. You can see they had max speed. We back up, make sure we don't get tagged by semantic. Make sure we, you know, hold our own here and uh, don't fall too back. Now, Zuan is going to be trying to win back this right lane and uh, we're going to heal him here once in a while. I don't know if we actually heal him anymore, but we're going to get a nice super onto Jetton. Now that is a pretty risky super because he can actually dash it. Luckily, we got him just before he dashed and we did take him out regain or gaining full control of the map right now. Now, the only problem is Sky already has pull so we have to be a little bit careful uh we could have probably super here and maybe even got a three-man super if we did it early enough but we decided to hold on and just kind of back up while they get max speed we do not want to get caught off guard from a max speed and a pull and that's how they're going to win the game with their comp every time they get max speed they're going to go for a pull and if they get it well we're going to lose so here i do try to super jet and it didn't work out this time 
Now, I'm gonna get pulled here, and this was a little bit of a mistake for me. I personally thought that Skyrix was gonna be in the right side of the grass because Tyrant supered the grass, and I thought the only spot he could be was the top right, and I definitely made a mistake there. I think he was top right, and I got pulled because he was left. And so a good, nice play by Sky as well as a little bit misplayed by me, but either way, my teammates hold, lock it down, and we're totally fine chilling in the mid again. Once we go to overtime, I'm not so sure about our comp. It's gonna be a little bit tougher in my opinion, just because we do have a barley in overtime whereas they have a little bit more range on the barley but we hit some beautiful shots on Jetton while he has speed this guy's gonna go for the pull get the kill so a nice return kill from them but we're looking really really solid even though we just have to try to get semantic out of this spot which zuan does a fantastic job that was a huge kill honestly if semantics able to stay alive there we can get some really bad problems for our team and uh we're gonna be going into overtime with 10 seconds left so here i'm like saying you know we should really push up here while we have a couple walls while we can get a little bit more map control and uh, we do so so we get a little bit more map control during that kind of push and now we're looking not bad i should say but you know we didn't really want to go to overtime but zuan in overtime is a beast he does so much damage with the lola clone you can see how much damage he's actually doing basically just one shot the max there which is kind of crazy so we're just going to heal zuan up because he's kind of our win condition tyrant's just going to hold the sandy back not allow sandy to get super we just have to be careful here now nice heads up play from zuan i'm going to go back and actually show you that one more time so this is when we knew that they were going to go for a max speed because they're grouping up together they get the max speed but zuan with a nice heads up play grabs the ball and snipes it in the corner i think that was just a really he nice heads up play nice little hype from zuan as well and we're actually going to win the first set in brawl ball it was a really slow set and uh, kind of slow paced but we you know we won the set feeling good get into the next set all right hopping into safe zone now this is one of the maps that we actually really really enjoy uh we like our long range matchups a lot we were happy with this and we're going to be running colt rico piper very kind of traditional comp rico is actually pretty good versus lola it's one of the better matchups you know you can have versus lola i think spike and rico are like basically the only two that do decently well versus lola now either way tyrant's gonna break that mid that way if i ever do get shot semantic can't actually push up to that wall and you can see they kind of did the same thing now semantic gets a nice shot and finishes me off with a curveball but my teammates know what to do here this is this is going to happen between piper matchups one way or another someone is going to die zuan with a nice super across the map and uh, they just didn't die both of my teammates stayed alive and that allowed us to start pushing up now we're going to be hitting some nice shots onto semantic as well as sky we're really looking to get some advantage here i curveballs uh sky because he was super low we also get a kill there we hit semantic jetton is extremely low we finish off jetton's i don't know we just team wiped and it was honestly super well coordinated by us so much going on in this game and you can see they break that wall now that's a really smart play by semantic because if rico ever pushes up there it's almost game over for them it's really really hard to get a rico out of that area so things are kind of getting a little dicey zuan goes down but we hit some nice shots in return tyron is winning his lane as well so we're looking really really solid now we do have to jump here for the curveball but again, that's not a bad trade for us. We're definitely willing to jump the curve. And now we know that I think Semantic has one curve left as well. So I think we both have one curve. And that's something you have to keep track of when you're playing the Piper matchups. I mean, the curve is the name of the game in the Piper matchup, really. Uh, either way, Semantic is going to be on 20 H 8 HP. We do hit a nice shot. We do curve Sky. We get another team wipe. We're just coordinating ourselves very, very well every time you know we use our gadgets. We have a huge lead with 20%. Now, the only way they win this game at this point is if they just absolutely team wipe and all get onto the safe. But with 20, 15 seconds left now, there's basically no way. Tyrant gets a kill onto Jet and that basically secures the game. Zuan goes down, but there is still no way that they do enough damage. Even if we don't kill them here, there's no way they do the damage. We're going to win that game. And I think that was one of our better games of the entire world finals. We played so well and so coordinated. So we're going to win the first game of the second set. All right, game two, we're going to switch it up to a pretty interesting comp now we're gonna actually go roughs lola piper and this comp is kind of interesting basically you're gonna use the roughs to protect the piper mid and allow the lola to push up because i mean lola is just a devastating lane and you can see zuan is doing a fantastic job right off the bat he does get curved by semantic so has to back up and we kind of got shot by semantic so we couldn't push up the way we wanted we had a really good opportunity there semantic's hitting a ton of shots this game and he kind of pushes us back but zuan does an amazing amazing job here stays alive 
live actually, which was kind of crazy. And that allowed us to keep the control. So we're looking totally fine. Tyron is going to use another bags in the mid. And now we're going to be trying to push up. So we curve Sky. We also get a kill onto Jetton. So a couple nice shots allows us to get some good control as well as our teammates pushing up. Now we are going to get marked by Sky Race. And this mark just stays on us the entire game. It was so annoying. I basically took, you know, every time I got shot from Piper, I took so much damage and it took me so long to heal up. Now Zuan gets hit by a trap and that kind of sucks for us because we also lose uh, the power up. So here I curved Semantic. The whole idea was to try to keep Tyrant alive in this corner, but he is getting pinched here. He does just barely go down, almost takes Jetton, and that would have been a huge kill, but you know, it does happen. Now here, gotta get this wall down. If they ever, you know, just hide behind that wall, it's gonna be very hard for us to do anything. We're kind of put in a weird spot now, so we are, you know, kind of spawn trapped, but at the same time, they're not doing a ton of damage, so we're not panicking at the moment. We do get tapped again. We're gonna get tapped quite a bit here in the next couple seconds, or at least the 40 seconds. We're gonna get tapped a lot by Semantic because he's hitting a ton of shots as well as we're getting tapped by bell so we have to run away from the safe we were put in a really really tough spot but the important thing is that we did not panic this set i didn't feel nervous at all even if i was getting tapped like i am right now i felt really really calm because we were just playing so well now they're gonna get some damage we're still winning the game tyron is gonna pass me a power up and with 20 seconds left i think i have a curveball left that i'm gonna use here so probably right now we do curve semantic has to jump and this is the important thing they have 10 seconds left to do the damage they have to push up here we hit a nice shot onto semantic zuan gets a kill onto sky we jump in as well as we get one shot on the safe just to secure it kind of crazy defense all happens in a couple seconds but we were totally calm and we do get that win winning two sets in a row and looking pretty solid so let's get in the next one all right it's time for dry season now this map you're gonna see the same comp three times in a row and basically just with the bands it kind of makes this comp very very well rounded there was one other comp that we considered running uh because it can beat this comp but at the time or i think it was like uh, Gene, Max, Meg, or something like that, which is kind of solid, and it's kind of a skill-based matchup, but we are confident with this kind of comp as well, so we knew they were going to play this, and we were, again, confident with our own style of playing this, so we just decided to run it. And you can see it's kind of a mirror match right now. We're going to be on to Semantic as well as Zuan is going to be on uh, Jetton, kind of this Byron Tick matchup. Uh, and it's definitely in favor of Tick. So I think uh, Semantic used like two or three gadgets at this point, which is really important to note because it's going to allow us to push up a lot easier on this lane. Now we do have to back up here because they are kind of switching and we're getting pinched. We actually almost go down, uh, but you know, realistically, we were totally fine with Zuan giving us a nice shot to help. And we're going to, I think, switch lanes or we at least should to switch lanes to get me onto the Byron and I think that's what we're doing right now now this is the crazy thing I don't even know how semantic lives this you just wait wait a couple seconds he gets so low 12 HP I go for sky here because I thought I could just kill sky and miss a couple shots semantic is still really low I thought Zuan was gonna finish the kill now I'm trying to trap semantic he goes down to 300 HP he's still alive right now and his teammates are able to push up onto tyrant I think they actually killed tyrant and it gets really, really dangerous here. So luckily this tick head goes for Sky, bounces him back. Zuan gets the kill onto Smack Semantic finally. And Sky got put in such a bad spot. There was no way for him to survive. So we actually come out in the lead of this. And this was a crazy game. Honestly, I, it could have went either way. We get a kill on to Jetton to finish it off and that secures the game. So we are now on match point, winning five games in a row versus SK Gaming. I think unheard of. I don't think any team has really done that in EU ever or anybody ever did it to SK. So we're feeling really, really good. But I think this is where the nerves started to kick in. All right, game two of dry season. Now, this is, you know, match point for us. So I think we were a little bit nervous. Also, I forgot to mention the blue star on this map is so, so important. And they switched it up. They did something really, really smart at the start of the game to get the blue star. Uh, they kind of spread themselves out as well as they kind of pushed up with the roughs to get it. And the tick held me back. And so they, they played it really, really smart. They switched it up from the first game. And I think that was a big brain play from them as well as you see how we have to come to them now. And they're looking really, really solid. We can't just sit back in our spawn and heal up because we're going to lose the game. So we do have to play aggressive. Now, Zuan's in a really good spot. Semantic is pretty low. We're looking all right. But again, kills on this map are pretty hard to come by. You really have to kind of outplay them. And uh, I think the big mistake that we did here was we didn't have Tick onto Byron. I think if we have Tick onto Byron, which we're trying to do 
do right now, it, you know, it helps us out. Now they're going to keep switching. So they're doing the right thing. They're switching the matchups. I think you'll see eventually that we actually kind of catch them off guard with one of their switches and we're able to push up. It's not going to happen just yet, but I'll point it out when it does. And again, we're trying to switch, or at least I'm trying to switch with Zwam. So I'm saying switch, switch. I really need to get on this Byron matchup to be able to push up. And you can see here is where they're switching and we're like, yo, push up. There's all grouped up in the mid and we actually get some control. So we unfortunately do not get a kill. They used a tick head and it kind of just deterred our entire attack. And Semantic is again, staying alive in this corner uh, very, very well. And we're trying to go for the kill on Semantic. He does stay alive, I think again. And that was basically our last chance to get the kill. I'm going to try to make a play on Jetton because there is 10 seconds left. Someone needs to get a kill, uh, but Jetton's going to tank most of the damage with his gadget. Things are getting kind of crazy. Zulan's going super low and there's just no time. We tried our best. We tried to corral them. We got pretty close and it's again, very hard to get kills on this map. So that's the going to be their first win. And now again, we're still on match point. So let's get into the next game. All right. So game three here, and we're going to be running it back. Like I said, this comp is so well-rounded. It's very good versus tanks because roughs, you know, just feeds off the tanks. Byron is actually pretty solid versus tanks. You'd think Byron would be not good versus tanks, but Byron is just such a good brawler versus everything. And so either way, this game, we actually got the blue star. I think this was the only game we got the blue star. So we're looking really, really solid. Now I got put in a little bit of a weird spot. I do get pretty low. And unfortunately I kind of charged the rough super. So that was a little bit too aggressive for my end. Now, again, this is a mistake that we kind of made on the defense. So when you're pushing up the map on dry season, I think it's really important to get the mismatch of like the tick versus Byron. So you can see Jedin is on Zuan. And Zuan is going to have a really, really hard time holding down that lane. Even though I'm on Semantic, I can't really push up because I'm pushing up into open area and Sky and Semantic are going to punish me. So in a sense, this is definitely the better matchup for them. And we figured this out kind of after the game, unfortunately, and, you know, just couldn't make this change, but they are going to switch. So I think this was a little bit of a mistake from them switching uh, Jetton over, but I don't think it lasts very long. I think they're going to get Jetton back onto Zuan here soon, or maybe not, but either way, they are pushing up on Zuan. Semantic gets a super and does use it on Zuan. So Zuan is really, really trapped in the corner. He's getting 2v1 and there's really no way for him to live here. So it's a little bit unfortunate. I think we just kind of played that a little bit wrong, I guess. And uh, they do get a kill with 20 seconds left. This is going to be a really hard comeback to make. Either either way, I think we kind of just messed that up a bit. I think either I should have came over and helped Zuan or something along those lines. But they played that really, really well. And I almost get a kill onto Jetton, but Jetton's going to survive. And with eight seconds left, Zuan goes down as well. And it's basically over. You can see Tarn just making a last ditch effort. I'm just going to die, but it doesn't really matter. So SK get the third set win, bringing some momentum back towards their end. And now we have to hop into the fourth set on Gem Grab. All right, so hopping into the first game on Gem Grab, we decided to go for Meg, Jean, and Lola. Now, Lola is obviously, you guys know, is one of the strongest brawlers, but like I said earlier, Rico is one of those matchups that's actually pretty good versus Lola, and they kind of went for that, as well as they went for Lola mid versus Jean, and in hindsight, this is actually another good matchup for them. So again, with something we didn't really realize until like later on, as well as I'm not gonna lie, I got diffed this game very, very hard from Semantic. Semantic was a absolute beast on Meg and I knew it was going to be tough. I didn't think I was going to get diffed that hard uh, and I kind of make some corrections in the next game but you can see he already has Mech. Tyron is going to go for a nice play here. Gets the pull onto Sky. Gets the kill but the only problem is, is we don't really have control of the lanes. At least I had zero control whatsoever. Zuan also went down and Semantic is just going to walk mid and kill Tyrant. And there's nothing really you can do. I do get the mech off. I'm going to get this kill, but I do get the kill. Almost get a swipe onto Sky, which could have, you know, actually came in clutch there but I do go down. We thought it was really good for us because the jeans felt like it was doing okay versus the Lola because Tyrant made a nice play. But the only problem was, again, it is kind of a mismatch, especially when, uh, you know, Lola gets cloned. It's really hard for uh, Jean to pull or to do anything. Now here they have nine gems. We're desperately trying to hold on. I pick up that gem, which I think was a small mistake for me. I should have probably let Tyrant pick it up. And I'm going to be put in a really weird spot. Semantic just punishes me instantly. I thought he was a little bit higher up the map. And again, punishes me super hard. Sky's gonna grab another gem, basically locking it down for them. There's no way at this point we really come back. And I mean, there's nothing really much to say. I do think in general, they had the better comp, at least on two lanes. I know mine was a mirror and I just got diffed. So I have no excuses really, but either way, let's get in the next game. Most of you probably know this. I just want to quickly show this. I'm not gonna show the entire game, but Semantic actually bought it out this game. And so we were like, okay, the, 
the game's gonna be replayed. So I kind of trolled here and I just kind of didn't, I mean, we all kind of trolled to be honest. Look, I'm just sitting here allowing kind of Semantic to charge super while he was a bot. And when they actually come back, it gets really weird because they actually win this game. So I'm not gonna show it all, but I just wanted to talk about it really quickly because it was pretty controversial at the time. And I think Semantic is already back. But at the time we were like, okay, so it's gonna be a replay. No one was really focused. And again, you have to think of it this way. If we won the game while Semantic bought it out, it would have been a replay. And so it shouldn't really change. The same thing if they, you know, if Semantic bots out and they win the game, nothing should really change. It should have been a replay no matter what. It's just we were told to play uh, you know play it out to the end so it was pretty confusing I remember our VC was totally confused we we're like okay it's gonna be a rematch uh, do we keep playing do we don't keep playing w what's going on and so we were just kind of like all over the place but either way they win this game but it's gonna be a rematch so I'll show you the rematch instead all right so this is the rematch now we do have to play the exact same comp we were told we have to play the exact same comp I feel still think they had the advantage they had some pretty smart picks at least on this map for sure and uh, we are going to be you know again rematching it uh, and I think I play a lot better this game around semantic is not gonna punish me super or like super hard this time I probably still lost lane, but nothing like the first time and it's kind of just gonna be slow until either Lola gets clone or Jean gets pull both uh, Me and semantic just don't want to charge each other super We're gonna slowly slowly hit each other once in a while and it is a very slow matchup uh, to be honest now either way Tyrant does have super as well as Rico is kind of you know winning his lane versus Lola. And again, like I said, this is a pretty hard matchup for Lola to win. But again, we have pull. That is our one condition kind of to win this game. Now that Lola clone is on the way, it's going to get actually pretty hard for Tyrant to do much now because Lola just does so much damage. Now, Semantic does get super before me, but it's not a huge huge amount of time but i do get swiped there so i would have said i was doing okay until i got swiped we are doing fine here i guess uh, but it gets pretty confusing i think i go down so i get pinched kind of i don't know i was trying to swipe semantic when he got out of meg uh mac i guess but either way semantic just kind of beat me this name and i'm not even gonna make excuses i just didn't play as good as him on this set and uh I mean, they're at nine gems. It's going to be really, really tough. And uh, I would have said the only way we actually really, really win this is if I won lane Meg v Meg, because I do think in the long run, Tyrant and Zwan both had hard matchups. And so it's kind of was on me to win it. And I didn't play very well this match or this set. And uh, they're going to win the rematch anyway. So which I'm kind of thankful for uh, because it would have been a super controversial win if we did win this set. And, you know, one in gem grab, people would have been in uproar. So either way, now we are at two sets to two sets going into bot drop the last one. So let's get into it. All right, so we're hopping into bot drop and I want to talk about how important the first bot is on this map. Now you can see we're hitting a ton of shots onto Jen right off the bat and they can't actually pick up that bolt, which is so huge because basically their whole comp is about getting the first bot and they only get one bolt. So this was a huge start for us. Honestly, this is probably where we won the game, to be honest. We do actually tie, so it's not as good as if we won it. But again, their comp is just so aggressive in the mid. They usually use rough, rough spags with the Pam HP to get it. Uh, Jetton's gonna die, not able to pick up that bolt. And Zuan is winning his matchup versus Skyrix. So we're looking again, super solid right now. And we're already in such a good position with five to two bolts. I mean, we just really have to hold. We're going to try to pinch Sky here. Sky's going to try his best to stay alive. I think he honestly should have just saved his clone and died. Uh, but he actually stays alive a very long time. He's going to go for this bolt, which is a little bit too ambitious. And we're going to get the curveball kill on him. And now we are winning 12 to 3 right now in bolts. And so we know that we just we're going to win the bot. So we just want to get as many bolts as we can for the next one, because that is the name of the game on this map. It's basically you win the bolt and you hold control and you spawn trap. So we get a nice kill onto Semantic. We do not want to let Sky get that bolt. We do, you know, pinch him. And if Jetton went for this, I think he could have, but it would have been really tough. We all are waiting to kill Jetton right there. And uh, we do pick up that bolt, which is going to make it four to three going in the next one, which is such an advantage for us. There's really hard really really hard to push up this map once you get control so you can see they're trying their best but there's nowhere to go i mean zuan gets a kill onto sky there's he only can push up the lane uh we're hitting a ton of shots onto jet and semantic has no way of pushing up against a barley and i mean that's game over we're gonna win this game and again it's basically because of the start i'm telling you the start of this game on bot drop is just so so important we get the snipes at the start and we're looking really solid 11 to 4 we already have the damage lead that is going to be the first game let's get into the next one 
All right, so game two, we decided to stay basically the same. We switched Spike for Barley, and basically just because we wanted Spike versus Lola, which is one of those good matchups. Now we do get sniped and curveballed. It is hard. It is a very tough matchup, Piper v. Piper. Whoever hits the first shot is going to win. Samantha hit the first shot, and he hit a nice curve. And so he's also going to break Tyrant's walls. Now we had a really rough start to this game. And I'm not going to lie, it's cause, kind of because I got diffed by Semantic at the start. We do curveball him there. Don't know why I did it. Really sus curveball. Maybe the nerves were getting to me. I don't know exactly. But either way, we are able to defend this. But this is where it gets really tough. We're going to have a hard time pushing out of the map. Jetton goes kind of low. And uh, here is where I curve. And people were like, why would you curve there? Basically, we need to push up the map. And if I get Semantic low, which he is very, very low right now, it's worth it. Now, Jetton jumps by mistake. At least I don't think he jumped on purpose it would be very crazy to jump on purpose and i think that was a huge mistake and kind of our saving grace here because he went down and we're able to collect some bolts i think actually win this bot now here i jump got to make sure i get that bolt and survive if i die there it's not going to be good so we are looking really solid now we do not want to let them get that bolt semantic has to jump he doesn't pick up the bolt which is another huge bolt for us and uh, i mean now they have to do exactly what we did we have they have to come back the map Jetton goes down uh, and if Jetton stayed alive there, maybe they can come back, but this is going to be really tough for them. You're going to see, uh, I think Semantic is going to curve, trying to do the same thing we did, trying to get some damage, but it's just so hard. I mean, you can see he's getting pinched. We do get curved, but I mean, we're already winning in bolts with 18 seconds left. We just have to stay alive. Zuan is going to pick up another bolt. We're just trying our best here. And once we get a couple more kills, it is game over. We are going to win versus SK Gaming in the first round, which was a huge upset. Uh, I mean, a lot of people voted i saw the poll and it was like 74 to 26 percent which is absolutely crazy i mean we knew this game was going to be huge number one seed in na versus number one seed in the eu and uh just felt so amazing winning this game i'm not gonna lie and it's really sucks for sk gaming because they did not deserve to go out first round i mean they're such a good team and uh yeah so yeah guys that is the series versus sk gaming in the quarterfinals of worlds and what a series was it i mean it was crazy it was super hype and uh it was probably the most intense series i've ever played in my life and ggs to sk again i mean it was such a crazy game i couldn't have imagined a better game for the first one of all worlds uh but either way guys that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys learned something along the way maybe at least but either way if you did enjoy make sure to like make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one peace